All right, welcome back. And uh, today we are going to do our fruit bowl painting project in Adobe Photoshop. Now, uh, here's the fruit bowl that we're going to do. And uh, I can see I've got my image saved to the desktop over here. Yours may actually be in the downloads folder. Uh, I'm just going to grab my image and I'm going to drag it right over here to our Photoshop CS6 icon. And it takes a minute, and there we go. Okay, we're ready to get started here. Now, what we're looking at here is we've got different shapes, and today we're also looking at forms. So we've got, uh, you know, we've got grapes that are ovals. We've got uh, kind of a circle, uh, sphere shape of the apple, very round orange. Uh, what we're looking to do here is we're going to make a painting out of this and we're going to simulate the different forms by using paint brushes to try and imitate the uh, curves and form of the fruit. So let's get started. Uh, I've got my image right here and the first thing we want to do is I'm going to make a new layer. I want a paper layer. So I'm just going to go layer, new layer. I'm going to call this layer paper. And then we're going to want to put a plain color on that layer. Um, I don't want a gradient for this time. I'm going to use a paint bucket. And I'm going to pick a new color. I don't want it to be black. I just want kind of a off-white paper, a little brighter than that, about in here. And then I'm just going to dump that on my paper layer. And now uh, I can turn this layer here down quite a bit. So I need, obviously, to be able to see the fruit underneath. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing my painting with new layers. So I'm going to, again, layer, new, layer. And I'm kind of going to do a different layer for each fruit. So I'm going to call this my apple layer. And I'm going to use this layer to paint this front apple right here. Now be aware, this is a color painting. There's a lot of colors here. So let's go to our paintbrush right here. And I'm going to choose some different brushes. Uh, I'm going to go over here to my little gear. And I'm going to go all the way to the bottom to wet media brushes. Okay, these are the brushes that I want to use. This is kind of larger than it needs to be. I also want to see, I want to look at what we call a stroke thumbnail, like so. Because this gives me a good idea of what these different brushes are going to look like when I paint them on my painting. So I want something that's going to give me a really kind of glossy, smooth texture of that apple. Now when I go to, say, paint the orange, I'm going to want maybe something a little rougher. But for now I want something pretty smooth so I can simulate that apple texture. I've got a lot of choices here. I'm going to go with, uh, let's try this. This is a new brush. I've not used this before. It's a little small. I'm going to make it a little bigger. I'm going to go at about a 25. Now, uh, I want to change the color that I'm using. So I'm going to click my color. And I can actually just grab this color. Uh, I want something kind of in the middle. But also, because I'm sampling through the paper, it's not quite as red as I would like. So I'm going to cheat a little bit kind of grab my own color like so. I want to lower the opacity on my brush. Uh, I'm going to take this down to about 60% right about there. Now we're going to give it a try. I've got my draw pad all set up here and uh, let's just see what happens. We're going to do a little bit of kind of the middle of the apple Oh yeah, this is pretty nice. And I'm going to say um, I'm not able to see this as much as I would like. 
So I'm gonna go over here and just turn my paper layer up a little bit. There we go. I wanna be able to see that red a little better. Don't forget, go back to the apple layer. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue kind of going around the edge of the apple, simulating the curve of the apple with my brush strokes. And I can make it a little bit darker as I go around. And you know what, so far I'm very happy with my brush choice. And I can actually, I see a little more of this color up in this area, so I'm gonna continue. And we can always put the stem in on top later. Now down here around this part of the apple, it gets a little darker. So instead of sampling it, I'm just gonna go right up here and I'm just gonna grab this. I don't know that I like that. I'm gonna just make it like this and I'm just gonna go down and make it that darker color, a little more. And I'm gonna keep going right around the edge. It's okay to go a little bit over. That's what opacity is for. And I'm gonna keep simulating that curve of the edge of the apple and everywhere where I see that color. And it's okay, for example, here to go a little bit over where these grapes are because I'm gonna go do the grapes on another layer anyway. A Little bit over where I'd like to be, but that's okay. It gets really dark down there at the bottom, so I'm gonna grab uh, really dark, it's almost black. There's not much of it down there, but we'll, uh, we'll try and get it in there. Kind of like so, not really as, probably should have made my brush size a little smaller. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, to do these parts, I want that brush down to about a 15, 14 will be fine. See, yeah, I'm really starting to go over. You can see, whoa, hit the button on my uh, brush there. You can see it takes quite a while to get this done the way you really want it. But it uh, looks pretty good. I want that edge to be pretty smooth. So I'm gonna, not bad. Now there's some lighter colors here in the middle so I'm gonna grab those. Uh, it's almost white. I'm gonna continue using this small brush to go over these parts. Again, following the curve of the apple itself. And there's a little more, kind of like so. Some little dabs in this area. Let's see how this looks. Not bad. Uh, now what I wanna do is I need to go back. I'm actually gonna dab in some extra color, darken it up a little bit, and soften up some of these edges because I, I think it looks a little messy. I like this brush, but um, I think it comes out a little, a little sloppy. But darkening it in now that I'm on the, oh, I'm on my paper layer, ugh. Sorry about that. Just kind of cleaning it up a little bit. You start to see it starts to kind of look like the apple that I want. I could always use different brushes to try and get a better look. But you can see it's coming out to look pretty good. Um, I'll tell you what, we're going to come back here and you can start to see that it's coming out okay. What you'll end up doing is you'll continue Working on, you'll do separate layers for your apple, you'll do another layer for your orange, you'll do layers for your grapes, your other apple, maybe even a background for the bowl. 
Feel free to try different brushes when you do this. For example, on the orange over here, I'm probably going to want something that shows a little bit more of this texture. Other than that, you can continue on. Again, don't forget to make different layers for the different fruits that you're using. Take your time and make it look good. Have fun with it.